for row 10, <clears throat> we are going to move our stitch marker. We do not have to turn our work. We're just going to go ahead and put the color A loop on our hook chain one and then slip stitch chain one single crochet into that first stitch now we begin the repeat section of row 10 back post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below chain one skip one four times so that was one four front post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below chain one skip one eight times so front post one and eight and then back post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below chain one skip one two times okay, and we repeat that whole set four eight two until there are two stitches left now i'm going to back post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below and then single crochet into the last stitch There is the completion of row 10. Now we will switch our stitch marker from color B to color A. And for row 11, we will give this a turn, put the hook into the color B loop, chain one, and then slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch slip stitch chain one single crochet and then chain one skip one and now here is our repeat, repeat section front post double crochet around the color b stitch two rows below front post chain one skip one three times that was one three then back post double crochet around the color b stitch two rows below chain one skip one seven times that's one seven and then front post double crochet around the color b stitch two rows below chain one skip one four times there's one and four and that is the repeat section three seven four and then there will be one stitch left and we single crochet into that very last stitch that wasn't quite it there we go single crochet into that very last stitch there we go and that is the end of row 11. now row 12 we are going to switch over our stitch marker Slide our hook into color A, chain one, then slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the very first stitch. Now here is our repeat section. Front post double crochet around the color A, stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one four times. So front. Chain one, skip one, four times. That was one and four. And then we are going to back post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below. Chain one, skip one, six times. Six. And then front post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below four times that's four and now there are two stitches left we're going to front post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below one last time and then single crochet into the very last stitch 
And then there you go. Row 12. Row 13, we are switching our stitch marker. And then we will have to turn the work, put our hook in the color B loop, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. Then chain one, skip one, and now it's time for the repeat section. We're going to back post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, five times. There's one, five, and then front post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, five times five and then back post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below chain one skip one four times okay and this is four and that's our repeat section five five four and we did that until one stitch remains and then single crochet into the very last stitch that is the end of row 13. Row 14, we switch our stitch marker. We do not need to turn, so we will then just put the hook back into color A, chain one, and then slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the very first stitch. And now here is our repeat section. We will back post double crochet around the color A stitch, two rows below. I'm having a hard time catching it for some reason. There we go. Two rows below, chain one, skip one six times. Six and front post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below chain one skip one four times. Now back post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below chain one skip one four times. And that is our repeat section, six, four, four. We do that until two stitches remain, and then we back post double crochet around the next stitch, or uh, color, around the color A stitch two rows below, and then single crochet into the last stitch. And there we have row 14. So for row 16, we switch our stitch marker again, and now we need to flip the work around, put our hook into the color B loop, chain one, slip stitch, single crochet, chain one into the first stitch, then chain one, skip one, and now we begin our repeat section front post double crochet around the color B stitch, two rows below, chain one, skip one, five times. Now back post double crochet around the color B stitch, two rows below, chain one, skip one, three times. Then front post double crochet around the color B stitch, two rows below, chain one, skip one, six times. And that's our repeat section, five, two, six. And we repeat that until just one stitch remains and we place a single crochet in the very last stitch. And that is the end of row 15. Row 16, we are switching 
our stitch marker and then putting the hook back into the color A loop, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. And then we begin our repeat section of row 16. We will front post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, six times. Back post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, two times. Front post double crochet around the color A stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, six times. And that is our repeat section six to six and we repeat that until two stitches remain then we front post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below and single crochet into the very last stitch there we have row 16. row 17 we are switching our stitch marker then flipping the work, putting the crochet hook into color B, chain one, and then slip stitch, chain one, sorry, slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch chain one skip one and now it's time for our repeat section of row 17 back post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below chain one skip one seven times front post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below chain one skip one then back post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below, chain one, skip one, six times. That's our repeat section, seven, one, six, and you do that until one stitch remains, single crochet into the very last stitch. And there we go, that is the end of row 17. Row 18, we are switching over our stitch marker, putting color A back on our hook, chain one, slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch, and then begins our repeat section which is super simple on this one we are going to back post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below chain one skip one and repeat all the way across so just back post double crochet around the next color around the color a stitch two rows below chain one skip one all the way across we repeated that until two stitches remain and now we are going to back post double crochet around the color a stitch two rows below then there's one stitch left and we're going to single crochet into that last stitch okay now here is the end of row 18. now this is where you can repeat your rows if you want you can repeat rows 5 through 18 keep going until your piece is your desired size otherwise you can be done if you are done then we have some finishing rows so i'm going to go on to the finishing rows and i am currently done with color a all right and it is time for some finishing rows the very first finishing row is going to be color b but i'm going to go ahead since i'm done with color a i'm just going to kind of do a little chain and pull it through to really truly be done with it so for our finishing row for row one we're going to turn and we can actually 
get rid of this stitch marker now here. Go ahead and put our color B yarn back on the hook and make a chain, slip stitch, chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. And now we're going to front post single crochet around the next stitch, okay? So front post, single crochet around the next stitch. Then a front post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below. Front post single crochet around the next stitch. Okay, so this is one of the time. This is the only time that you're actually working. Um, you're mixing colors A and B, right? Only for this row. So our repeat section is now front post double crochet around the color B stitch two rows below and then front post single crochet around the next stitch, which is actually color A. And we're going to repeat that all the way across until there's just one stitch left. Now there's that one stitch left and we're just going to single crochet into the last stitch. All right, now we can go ahead and cut color B and we're going back to our border color. So just like I started with a border color, I'm going to finish with a border color. So I'm just gonna switch over to, maybe switch over to my border color. Chain one and turn. Okay, chain one, turn. And I'm simply going to single crochet into each stitch across. And that will be my border. And there we go, our final little border row. And that is our geometry mosaic stitch pattern.